Another subject that I thought was really interesting that I should share, I want to share, is the who do you think you are? So you're meeting someone for the first time and you are exchanging names and you are exchanging occupations and likes and dislikes and whatnot in a conversation. The you that you think you are, the, the you that you are describing yourself to be, is that who you think you are? That's one of the things we talk about, we talked about at school. The you that you think you are is not the you that is seen by others. Um, it's impossible to see yourself. You can only understand your own thinking, but you cannot actually see yourself, apart from looking at your phys physicality. Um, the who that you think you are is the moment of time as it's passing. That's all that you are. You are it. You are life itself. You're not separate from life. So whatever is arising is who you are. So the definition of who you, who are you is a very hard one. And I think it was funny because I've always had an issue in introducing myself because people will say, hi, hello, who are you? Um, tell me a bit about yourself. I mean, I can tell you about myself, but I can't tell you who I am. Because the sense of who I am is not true. There is no me. A lot of um, Jim Carrey's uh, statements was there is no me. I think what he was referring to is that there is no sense of a solid solidification, solidification of the body is not who I am is what he meant. And I think I can identify with that because all I am is the awareness of the person that I am. So that in, 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 in actual fact is the I am. I am that which is arising from moment to time, moment to moment. I am not the thoughts in my head. I am not the thoughts you believe me to be. I am not that. I am so we cannot be defined as a human or, or as a an entity as such. So yeah, that was really funny hearing it from Jim Carrey, especially from Jim Carrey because he's a comedian. And I think that um, after watching that, there was this understanding for me that really clarified. Uh, that seeking of self that we do, a lot of us do, not all of us. Uh, blessed are the ones that are not seeking, I say, because they are the ones that are innocently, probably much happier, <coughs> excuse me, individuals. Um, you cannot help that which you are or which which life is arising to be. You cannot change that. That, that, that is already done. So when you're, in, in essence, asking yourself, and try this, Ask yourself, who are you? Who am I? Am I this and this and this and this and this that I think I am? You will realize that none of that is actually the you that you think you are. So yeah, another interesting mind-boggling one. I hope you enjoy. Bye.